cheesy sausage one pot gnocchi. I cooked some crumbled Italian sausage and it's got some beautiful fat left in the pan. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'll add it back into the dish later. So to this pan, I'm gonna add some shallots and garlic. All right, oh, that smells so good. <laughs> I love garlic, but I love the smell of shallots. Mm -hmm. So in go zucchini and summer squash, just cut into neat little coins. Coins. Silver dollars. <laughs> and frozen corn, and it's frozen roasted corn, so this is a great shortcut for any quick and easy supper and any one pan supper, for sure. Okay, so I'll stir this around and just give the veggies a little bit of a chance to cook. So, moving on, I'm gonna add some tomato paste, couple of tablespoons right to the center of the pan and just let that tomato paste kind of fry against the bottom of the pan. This adds a little bit of heat to it in the form of crushed red pepper flakes. That was kind of a lot of heat actually. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. I love this too because you just kind of build layer upon layer and just it gets better and better with everything you add. So a can of tomato sauce cool. and a couple of tablespoons of prepared pesto. And when I say tablespoon, I mean like a fourth a cup. And then some chicken stock. You can do veggie stock. You can do beef stock, whatever you happen to have in your pantry. This was in my fridge, so it's a little bit cold, <laughs> which is good because things are getting a little hot in here. Oh. All righty, so now I need to bring this sauce to a boil so it can start to thicken a little bit. And then I'm gonna keep adding stuff until this delicious one pot meal is ready. This is looking very, very good. So next bunch of things to add, I've got some torn kale and this is dinosaur kale or lacinto kale, whatever you like to call it. You were probably wondering when the gnocchi was gonna come in, so I have a package of prepared gnocchi. Yeah. And this stuff is shelf stable, so it doesn't have to be refrigerated, which makes it one of my favorite pantry items in the universe. Whoa, this is gonna get full. <laughs> and then, you guessed it, this amazing sausage. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I may have underestimated the size of my pot. It's okay, the kale will shrink. It's just gonna take a couple of minutes bubbling away in this sauce, and then just one more addition, and you are gonna see the most delicious one pot recipe you've seen all morning. Take a peek, Alex. You have to get in here and look at how hearty and wonderful this is. Wow. Now this is actually an optional ingredient. I've got mascarpone cheese. And you could probably accomplish pretty much the same thing with heavy cream, but this just adds a creaminess that is out of this world. It's not like an overly creamy dish, but it just kind of adds a little bit of softness to the you know heavy tomato sauce. So now I need to stir the mascarpone in until it's totally distributed, and then it'll be time to dig in. Time to take this off of the stove because there's nothing more to add except, I thought of something else to add. <laughs> Parmesan. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a little soft. Mmm. Yum. All right, and then I have some basil leaves and I'll just tear the leaves, drop them on. Rustic, simple, very quick, very easy, but this is one of those things that seriously looks like it took you over an hour to make. 